Well, thank you, Jessica, for your report from the Indonesian Stock Exchange. Now, moving on throughout 2022, Indonesia's tax revenues jumped up 34% with corporate tax deposits up around 72%, while import taxes were up by 83%. The Indonesian Ministry of Finance noted throughout 2022 tax revenue reached 1,716.8 trillion rupiah, reaching the Indonesian state revenue and expenditure target, and jumped up to 34.3 percent compared to 2021. During the Indonesian state revenue and expenditure press conference, Indonesian Finance Minister Sri Mulyani stated that corporate income tax included corporate tax deposits that jumped 72 percent, indicating that the Indonesian domestic companies are successfully developing and contributing to the economy. Cerita yang luar biasa adalah pada korporasi, para pembayar pajak dari perusahaan, korporasi, badan usaha yang sumbangannya mendekati 20 persen dari total penerimaan negara. Ini menggambarkan bahwa korporasi perusahaan mulai bangkit dan bahkan menyumbangkan penerimaan pajak yang luar biasa. Tahun lalu sudah tumbuh 25,5, tahun ini tumbuhnya menembus 71,72 persen. Suatu pemulihan kesehatan dari pelaku ekonomi yang luar biasa. Corporate tax deposits in 2022 is the second highest after income tax, which shot up 83.33 percent. Minister Mulyani explained that the surge in value-added tax on imports was driven by an increase in import activity, which also pushed import value-added tax up to 41.37 percent. With a number of indicators both from demand to the manufacturing sector in Indonesia showing improvements and recovery, Minister Mulyani believes that the 2022 economic growth target of 5.2 percent in the Indonesian state revenue and expenditure will be achieved. Pertumbuhan ekonomi 2022 diperkirakan pasti pada kisaran di atas 5 persen, yaitu antara 5,3 hingga 5,1. Berbagai lembaga dunia membuat forecast Indonesia tumbuh tahun ini, eh, tahun 2022 kemarin pada kisaran 5,3 hingga bahkan ADB di 5,4. Bank dunia lebih konservatif di 5,2 persen. OECD sama dengan IMF dan Bloomberg konsensus yaitu forecast untuk 2022 ini adalah di 5,3. Consumer consumption and demand growth continued till the end of the year in 2022 and was relatively stable, with the strengthening during the holiday period. Consumer confidence index is still high and in the optimistic zone. Public spending also continues to rise as reflected in the increase in the independent spending index. Consumption credit growth also continues to rise and the retail sales index, which continues to grow positively as well. From the production side, the growth of electricity consumption for businesses is still growing at 13.5 percent. Indonesia's manufacturing sector is also still expanding, seen from the December manufacturing PMI index, which increased to 50.9 after several months of decline. However, Minister Mulyani reminded that in the midst of an optimistic attitude towards Indonesia's economic prospects this year in 2023, we also must remain vigilant because of the turmoil in the global economy, 